I finally found him. Look at him. There he is. Cold, dead, unblinking eyes. I have stalked him for many miles and many moons. He has evaded us at every turn, but no longer. Okay, what's going on everybody? So we have a temporal storm coming. We're, uh, we're going to jump into it really quickly here. Um, I don't, uh, I don't think I'm ready. Um, shoot. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get organized here. Uh, we need the knife. We don't have any bandages. Um, I'm gonna take this. There we go. I'll throw that in our offhand, maybe. Um, shoot. Okay, I do want another club. So let's, uh, ah, you know what? I don't even have my axe. I'm flustering right now. How do I even make a club? I forgot. So I have not yet been a part of a temporal storm. So this is going to be a new experience for your old papa. Um, so yeah, should be uh, should be good times. I've read up on them and everything, and uh, just basically like a like a horde night if you play Seven Days to Die or something. Just a uh, just a bunch of drifters come and spawn everywhere. Stuff gets really crazy, you know. It's like you're uh, like you're eating those red and white speckled mushrooms. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I got uh, I got a couple of things to do to prepare here, and. Uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully it's not too bad. Fuck. Uh, oh, that's a bowl. There's the club. Okay, boom. Marvelous. Okay, I don't know if I have time to make anything else. I feel like we need some armor. Improvised body armor. Okay, well, you know, let's just see what we can make with this. The melier, so... Oh, we don't have don't have pelts. I mean, we have some, but we haven't really cured them. Yeah, we only have two. We need three. Okay, so... Oh, no, that's... Da, 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 da. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, shoot, that's not gonna work. So, grass knife and two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen... Where's my grass? There it is. Wait, I don't have enough grass. Oh, let's see. Oh, wait, I have grass all over. All over here. What am I doing? Ah, that was my knife. That was my knife. I don't have another knife. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, let's do this really quick. Really sinking quick. As you guys can see, the uh, the light is changing, and that means we're uh, we're in for some stuff right here. We're in for some stuff. About to get it in. Okay, got that. Let's go. Let's make two. Okay. Okay, grass. Come on, give me grass. Okay, that's. Make up some improvised body armor really quick. And a knife. And here we go. Let's open up our character and throw that on. Boom. Perfect. Alright, so we're kind of ready. We're kind of ready. So we got the two clubs, we got some spears. I wish we had time to make a sword. Now you better believe, as soon as this uh, this freaky night is over, we're about to be making some weapons and armor. Make a sword, make a little bit of better armor, make that bow we've been wanting. I'm pretty sure I have enough stuff to do that now. So now I guess we just wait. Not so far, so good. Nothing's happening. See, when I logged out uh, just after the recording the last episode, I got a notice in my, in my little log right there on the bottom left of the screen. It said a temporal storm was approaching, so I pretty much stopped what I was doing and logged off so that way I could be ready to record it and everything. But now, it's not really saying anything, so maybe it's it's just still approaching, you know? Maybe I gotta wait just a little bit longer? Can't really say. I really want to see it so I don't want to go to bed and sleep through it, you know? That, that would suck to miss our very first temporal storm. Oh, there's a little drifter. He's not part of the storm or nothing, but, uh, he's here. I 
Can't get up this time, can you, buddy? Sorry, but old Papa's learning from his mistakes. Oh, our charcoal. Our charcoal's done too. We gotta, we gotta get that once we're, once this is all over. Oh, we can make a helmet. There's like this and like that. There we go. Now we're even more protected. We're looking fancy. I'll tell you what. Look at us. We're ready to go. But whenever this thing shows up, it's uh, it's not quite happening yet. They know we're ready. Hiya! We'll get him like that. Oh yeah, come on. Is this gonna happen or what? I'm tired of waiting around. Just come attack me already. Old Papa's got a bloodthirst. A quench that cannot be filled. A quench for blood that cannot be filled? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, drifters, Papa's gonna be coming for you. <laughs> My pretties. I guess I guess we could start forging a sword right now, till it happens. Let's uh, let's just do that. Let's just do that. I'm sure we'll be fine. Um, so we're gonna want our long blade mold, and there it is. Set that bad boy down. We're also gonna want our charcoal which i forgot where there it is ooh might not be enough charcoal shoot you know what let's uh let's rectify that i have a shovel i do I'm just gonna jump out here real quick no drifters that's okay we got armor still no temporal storm maybe uh do you if you log out does it go away maybe I hope not, because I was really looking forward to that, honestly. But that's all right. Uh, this will give us some a chance to prepare ourselves a little bit better. Because up to this point, I was kind of kind of slacking on the whole, uh, you know, preparedness for attacks kind of thing we had going on. Where is all? There it is. That going and there. And we need our torch. Perfect. So yes, 20 copper to smelt down to make the long blade for it in our mold here. Then we just add a stick. We're good to go. Let's see, what else did we want? We wanted the bow. Unfortunately, I think all of our sticks and stuff are over at the the other camp. I have my flax here. There it is. There's flax. So we're just going to make a bunch of twine rolls right now. Looks like we can get four twine. Marvelous. Coincidentally, that would make us one linen sheet. Or linen, uh, yeah, just one linen. But, you know, that's not good. Oh, a temporal storm is imminent. Here we go, here we go. Ah, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Right, <laughs> we're gonna need to do some crazy stuff when, uh, once this hits, so we're, uh, we can pour our sword at the same time. Man, we really should have started that sooner. Son of a gun. Okay, come on, copper. Come on, smelt. Smelt, smelt, smelt. It's imminent. Come on. So close. We can get this rocking right now. Uh-oh, music stopping. Peaceful music stopping. What does it mean? Come on, copper. Oh, man, we're down to the wire. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, so close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, yes. Yes! Alright, we made it in time. Get our other charcoal out there. Oh, look at that. Our our wheel is turning like crazy. Stuff starting to look real weird. Oh yeah, this is this is crazy. Oh, yep, we got drifters. Oh, surface drifter. Okay, that's no problem. He's a weak one. I can take you all day, buddy. You don't want any part of this Papa Cheddar stuff. Oh, this is crazy. Look, everything's getting all warped. This is crazy. Oh, there's a boy. Come on. Hey, you get out of my base, you. Look at that. He's glitching. He's like 
He's like, ah, uh, glitching, I guess. That's the only way I can describe it. Ah! How'd he hit me there? Ah, look at all these guys. Oh, this is a deep drifter. Is he dead? Did I get him? Yep, got him. Look at all these guys. Should we take him right now? Yeah, let's just harvest him right now. Flax. I think these guys drop temporal gears, which is something we're really going to want. Man, I wish I had that sword. Ah, uh, nope, not ready yet. I really don't want to go down there and fight them because our spawn point is so far away. We don't have any bandages. We barely have armor. Uh, look at our wheel. It is just turning 96% right now. It's craziness. This lighting effect is like the blood moon. The blood moon. Oh, Papa Cheddar needs a kill. I want my sword. Come on. Please be ready. Dang it. What do you think? Should we run out there? <laughs> no, it's suicide. Should we run out there? Come on, you. They can glitch in here, right? Oh, there's one. Oh, where'd he go? This music is so creepy. There you are. Come here, buddy. There you go. Come here. Come here. God, I want our sword right now, right now, right now. Nope, not yet. Ah. Oh, man, this is great. Come here. You deep drifter, you. Get back here, you coward. You coward. Come back here and fight me like a man. Ah, not ready. I think it's like 300 degrees or something. We can pick it up with our fireproof hands or something. Aha! Get him, get him, get him. I want your... I want you. Ooh, got him. What was that? That was like a little... Like a little level up sound from Mario. Doodle doo. You guys hear that or was that just me? Come on, sword. I just want that sword so bad. Come on, come on. Once we get that sword, I'm going to run out there and just take these guys. Give me that sword. Come on, please be 400. Please be 400. Nope. You got to be close. Oh man, this is pretty neat. Like this really shows the, uh, like they say there's a Lovecraftian game where everything's just all, oh, you know, mysterious. It's not like gory or anything like that. It's just, it's just spooky. You know what I'm saying? And this is definitely spooky. It's got the crazy, oh, wow, oh, come here, come here. It's got the crazy ominous music. Oh God. Okay. Oh, pop is down. Oh, pop is down. Let's just take them, dude. Let's just take them. Let's get these guys. Hey, you think you can run, but I'm a hunter. I hunt the hunters. Yep, there we go. All right, who else wants some? Who else wants some papa? Huh? What you got? What you working with? About to get this sword right here, boy. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Come on, quick now. Quick now, quick now, quick now. There we go. Oh, it's waning. No, 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 no. We got it. We just finally got our sword. Let's go get these guys. Ha, ah, I can't move. Nope, you're dead. Come on. What's our temporal at? 88% our stability. Let's get them away from the from the other base. Let's go see if they're over here. Dun, 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 dun. Anybody? Better not be at my farm. 
Hiya! Oh, no one at the farm. Okay. Farm's clear. Oh, here's some guys. He down. He running. Come on, temporal gear. Oh, look at that. Subsided. Shoot, we got our sword too late. Where'd this guy go, huh? You ain't getting away from me. I want you. And I need you. And you're mine, son. Dead deep drifter. The only good deep drifter is a dead deep drifter. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a so. Oh, God. Oh, no. I'm going to die by a pig. Nope, he's running. Ah, eh, he's ours now. That's okay. We'll get some meat. Little, uh, little consolation prize right here, I suppose. Meat, fat stuff. Okay. I like this sword, though. Tell you what, old Papa Chetta likes this sword. Is that, is that another pig? Oh, that's a boar and a so. Okay, we're just going to let them be. I think the so is the girl pig, and the boar is the, the boy pig. Oh, we did have some bodies to loot over here. Hopefully they haven't despawned yet. These drifters really aren't too tough. Now, I know there's like other, other bad guys in this game, um, but they're down in like caverns and such. Oh, nothing from that schmuck. Um, yeah, they're down in caverns. And we don't really, uh, we haven't seen them yet. Oh, look at that! Look at that, look at that, look at that! Temporal gear. And shoot. Do, do, do. Nice. Nice. Oh, this is awesome, guys. We got a temporal gear. Look at this. Shivering, yet somehow sturdy can be shattered to create a returning point. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, yeah. God, I'm so happy with that right now. Ah, you don't even know. That just made our wildest dreams come true. Let's go ahead and store all this stuff. Uh, is there nothing? Yep, okay. Let me get organized really quick and we'll come right back and look at, look at stuff. Okay, well, we don't need these wooden clubs anymore. We'll just go ahead and toss those out. But, yes, we have a temporal gear. So I know we can use these to repair the, repair like the translocators and stuff like that, you know. But we can also use it to set a return point. So we're going to do that. We're just going to spend it because our return point is way up here. Way up here. And I don't want to run all this way back. It was one heck of a journey, I tell you what. So we're just going to come over here. Since uh, this is where our base is going to be anyway. And we'll just set it. It would be nice to... Oh gosh, I really should build the house first, don't you think? And then I can like set it upstairs or something. Because if I do it like right out here... I don't really want to spawn outside. But I just don't really want to die right now either. <laughs> so Poppy's got a conundrum. Look at that. Just... Oh, no. Can't just take the hut away apparently. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, look at that spinning in my hand right there. Isn't that cool? But yeah, so how you would use it is you look at the point you want to do it, and then you, I think you left click or right click maybe? I don't know. I'm too scared to try it right now. I really want to get this house built, and then maybe we celebrate by setting our temporal spawn and such. So that's, uh, that's the game plan. That's what we're going to do. But for right now, I think we need some sticks. Where's all my sticks? Are they really all the way back here? I could have made a bow this whole time. Are you kidding me? Hang on. Oh, yeah, jeez. Look at that. Look at all these sticks I got. Okay, well, let's go ahead and make a bow. Like that, and then we take our twine. And boom. We got a bow now. We got us a mother-loving bow. And we're just going to actually whip up a stack of arrows as well. So to do that, we are going to need to flint nap them, flint nap the arrowhead. So this is a this is a fun one. Look at all these look at all these pixels. You just kind of break out every individual arrowhead, which I think is pretty darn cool. You know, was it st six? A stack of six, six arrowheads. Yeah, you can see them slowly taking shape here. 
pretty neat, pretty neat. So yeah, tell me what you guys thought of our first temporal storm. I thought it was pretty darn cool, but at the same time, just a little bit lackluster as far as, uh, as far as enemies go. But then again, we didn't really jump down and, and actively engage them. So next time, I want to be more prepared for that, and then we can actually go out, have a little bit of fun with them. Um, you know, we did uh, we did get a little bit of action, but you know, like I said, not too much. So I uh, I like the whole how the screen was turning and waving and stuff like that. I thought that was pretty stinking cool. The music was nice. It was eerie, creepy. You know, had that ominous feel to it. So that was uh, all in all pretty nice. And it was nighttime, but I like how it lightened up. Kind of had that red glow to it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so all in all, not too uh, not too bad, guys. Not too bad. I'll give him a GG for that. I'm a, uh, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10, all right? That's what I'll give him. But, uh, you know, I know they are introducing some more creature types to this game, so maybe they'll show up. And I don't know if it scales by what day you're at. You know, like if uh, if you're farther along in the game... Oh, and it, well, inter interrupt you right now. So arrowheads right there, sticks right here. Oops, nope, six in the middle, pharaohs right there, makes us arrows, so we got 24. Not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, I don't know if it scales up, like, uh, if, we, if we're if we three years down the line from this date right now, if it, uh, if the, if it'll be a lot harder than it is right now. And look, we can get our arrows back. Boom. But you know what? This, uh, this isn't an accurate test for the bow. I think we need something. Let's see, we need ourselves. I know we can make a dummy. Straw dummy. Just two hay bales and some sticks. That's it. That's all we need. Where's our... We got hay bales. Boom, boom. And a stick. Look at that. That's a straw dummy. Let's go uh, Let's go try this out. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at this guy. Nice. Look at that guy. Let's smack him with stuff. Hiya. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try this bow out right meow. Ah, look at them. There, we gotta, we gotta pretend like we're stalking. Dun dun, dun. All right, we've been stalking our prey for 35 days straight. I finally found him. Look at him. There he is. Cold, dead, unblinking eyes. I have stalked him for many miles and many moons. He has evaded us at every turn, but no longer. Now, with this final shot, I shall take him. Ha ha! We are victorious! Now charge and attack! Ha 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 ha! Wait a minute, do I not do I not get my arrow back from that? If I shoot this dummy? Oh, well I got that one back. Huh. Well maybe maybe it's only like a percentage to get him back or something. I don't know. But all in all, pretty neat. Pretty dang neat. I think we need a name for this guy. Uh let's name him. Hmm. Let's name him Gary. I'm gonna name him Gary. No, no, he's a dummy, so Gary doesn't really fit. See, I know a guy who's a dummy. His name's Eric. So yeah, let's name him Eric. Eric the dummy, who I like to punch and shoot with arrows. Oh, sorry, Eric. Got you right in the boys. Ha! Ah. Okay, well, that's cool. We got ourselves a little, little Eric dummy. I'll have to make a sign, get him a good home. <laughs> Give him some high fives. High five, Eric. There we go. High five. Oh, can't hit that. There we go. High fives. Neat. Okay, well, that's uh, that's cool. Let's see, so uh, not too bad, guys. Not too bad. I think I might just end this episode right meow. We'll end it a little bit early. And, uh, oh, look, yeah, I planted a little oak sapling right here. Neat, huh? Yeah, so we have entered the warfare age. We have our two pieces of armor. And look at that. Look at the durability on this. It's 35 out of 75 now. So that went down quick. Like, sure, I took some hits, but I don't think I took that many hits, you know? So we definitely got to upgrade our armor. Definitely got to upgrade the armor. We finally got our copper long blade. And I do have one complaint about this long blade. So look at it. Now, take a guess what I'm going to complain about. <laughs> So it has those little wonky, pokey side things coming off of it there. And I just, I don't get it. You know, maybe they're trying to show that it was from the the casting process, you know, using a mold. You're not going to have like a perfect blade or anything like that by using molded casts uh, compared to forging. But, uh, you know, if I were to 
mold a sword myself, I would knock those off. You know, I would. I would knock those bad boys off. And I'm pretty darn sure if you actually forge it with an anvil as well, then it will not look like that. Um, you know, I can't say that for 100% certainty because I have not tried it myself, but I, I would bet you money. I'd bet you like five bucks that if I go and craft this sword on the anvil right now, <laughs> that is going to look like this. So I really hope they update the, the model for this one because, uh, you know, it doesn't look great. It doesn't look great, I'll be honest. I like it. I like its effects. I like to go whack, whack, whack with it, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, uh, it's not aesthetically pleasing. And now we got our fancy bow, too, which we can shoot our buddy Eric with over and over again to our heart's content. Anytime he makes me mad in real life, I'm just going to come over here and just be like, Eric, why? And look at that. I did not get my arrows back from that either. So maybe it's also a distance thing. If you're too far away, the arrows won't... Uh, won't be there. And that arrow's gone too. Maybe I'm just really unlucky. I don't know. I should stop, uh, I should stop, you know, wasting my arrows. <laughs> oh well. That's fine. It is what it is. But yes, so that will do it for us today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every one of you. If you like today's episode, please subscribe to the channel. Leave, leave a like or a comment. You guys can follow me on Twitter. It's at Papa Cheddar Vids or on Instagram at Papa Cheddar Gaming. And we just hit 100 subscribers on YouTube. Woohoo! Oh yeah, so thank you to all you guys who have been subscribing and watching the channel. It really does mean a lot to me. And we now have our fancy new URL. Custom job, I tell you, custom job. That's the uh, that's the prize you get when you hit 100, 100 subscribers on YouTube. You get to make your own URL. So mine is, of course, Papa Cheddar Gaming. You guessed it. That's, uh, that's what I am, that's who I am, and that's what I like, so that's what we're going to be there. And uh, next episode, we're going to start construction. Going to work on this base a little bit, do a little parkour, whoop. And, uh, you know, yeah, then we can, we can use this new temporal gear we got and finally set ourselves a nice spawn point. Going to make some fence, you know, maybe, maybe in another episode we'll actually get this mud, mud wall down and a proper fence. But I, I want to work on this house first. So I got a nice little plan in my head. We'll see how it pans out. I'll admit I'm not the best builder. Okay, old Papa's not the most artsy, but I'll, uh, I'll do what I can. It's at least gonna be functional. It'll be our home. So yeah, anyway, that'll do it guys. Uh, until next time, I love you, bye.